Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. We've set foot in this wasteland, and it's time to get going. Here's one of the first things we can find, a save area. Uh, you'll want to save whenever you can. There are stuff you can miss, these are my old save datas, and you can see all the different characters you can get, and probably there's their names along the side. Yeah, you will be getting those in your team at one point, but for now, save on file 8. Now because there are stuff you can miss throughout the game, I when I saved, I saved sev seven different f saves to make sure I didn't miss anything. But that was a long time ago. I may miss a fair amount, and I'm going to put this all in one save. Alright. Uh, do not stand on the lava, the hot bits of lava, as they will hurt you. As you can see what happened with me. And as soon as we progress to a certain point, that this, cut, this mini cutscene happens. Now this is basically the setup of our first actual battle where we take complete control of the game. The original one was pretty much attack, attack, and then showing you the uh, movement. Uh, and these again will attack only after you've chosen your current move. So we're going to take on this uh, dead soldier guy. Now there is a move you can do which increases the amount of damage you deal. But I'm not sure how to do it. I don't even know if he has it equipped yet. He might not have it equipped yet. It's usually during those running things that you do it. So... Only the strong and of course we got some... no SP. But we gained some gold. Uh, so whatever skills we have didn't level, I think. I don't remember what the SP does. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore because if you see a shiny object, that's an item you can grab. And we do not want to miss one really. Although, I guess a lot of items you don't really need, so grabbing them is just a preference I have. Also, if you check surrounding areas, you can get stuff from, like, breaking the rubble. You just automatically get it from, like, just messing with stuff, basically. In this area, it's all about Destroying stuff and progress. And I got a bruiser ring. Um, we might as well view the tutorial, although it's pretty easy. There we go, that's what I was thinking of. When you get these target rings, you have to line them up. The closer you get to it, to, uh, to lining up, the more damage you deal. Right? See? So it also adds your abilities that you equip to your weapons and that. Like it said, uh, if if you line up perfectly, you get extra damage, like a, a critical sort of hit. But uh, if you don't, then you get slightly less. If you get it within the sort of ring area, you do a moderate amount of damage. So when the count starts, hold down the right trigger and release when the outer ring is directly over your target ring so we wouldn't have been able to do it before the game is explaining if your timing is right you're t there we go like I said perfect is the best result yeah you don't achieve anything if you don't actually hit I believe the whatever you extra damage in that you can do is based on what you've equipped so if you don't have anything equipped you won't do damage so we want to go back into our menu, and we want to equip Kime. Oh, they get they put it on automatically. Okay, okay, that's good. So he's got damage up level one. So as long as we get it within the ring, he will increase his damage output. Now that's a necessary item. You cannot miss that because the only way through is to break this, and that's how we got the item to begin with. Ah, we stood on fire. 
standing on any fire will... Ah, here we go. The main thing about uh, the people who make Final Fantasy, no one gets they like their random battles. So this game is also full of random battles. Oh, and you gotta do it before the timer runs out. If the timer runs out, you won't be able to do the efficient extra damage. As you'll notice, Khan's not doing what he did before the battle, which was... I missed it. Which was uh, attack multiple, attacking multiple enemies. That's not something he can do like normally. Fun, we, will, we'll, we will get to skills and stuff that do that. But right now, he can't do that. And you want to check all this equipment around here because this is where see like this this is where they hide the items so we don't use there isn't really chests in this but it might be I can't remember, I can't remember but items are generally found inside objects so the whole chest system has kind of been done away with if I remember correctly there might be some chests later on I don't quite remember the whole game we got a mana herb. So if we have a look at these items, uh, we have a mana herb and an angel's plume. We also got a healing me medicine in one of those. Basically, whatever you came out of that other battle with, you'll have at the top of your items list, I think. So we've cut that pretty close with only two items left. They gave us one here and then one of each that we just gained. Mana herb, of course, will increase your will heal your MP. Angel's Plume will of course do a phoenix down and revive you and healing medicine is like a potion. Basically. So in a nutshell we have an ether, uh, a phoenix down and a potion. And just under different names. Wait, did I click on that yet? Well, if I didn't, it's not working now. And there we go, a nice shiny object. And this was a nameplate. Now. Oop. Valuables. Now, I believe... I don't remember what this does. So I guess we'll find out. I think you have to give it to someone. Now I will be darting back and forth around these areas because so, I'm trying to find items. Uh, enemies will pop up a lot here. But they're all pretty much the same strength. It's just a case of practicing that. See, I got a good, which increased my balance by 10 now. That's not much, but once the enemy start getting more difficult, it can become the difference. So I got good again. Perfect, I get even more damage. So, how well your effect works is based on, well, how well you do. How well you do with the ring. Okay, that moving thing must not be for anything. I'm just weaving around. Some nice uh, detailed and a way of it. And uh, interesting scenery. Um, right now the game's just getting used to its. Well, we're just getting used to the way the game's. Well, you know, they threw an extra enemy in there. Okay, now, I think that guy's on the back row. No, he's not. They're all on the front row. The front row will be, like, slightly back and forth in order to... Yeah. Ah, they're bad on that one. But I still got 142 because a crit, apparently, decided to happen. You still get criticals as well as the extra damages. There's a lot of strategy in this game. Uh, deciding who goes where, who goes what, and how. Only the strong survive. 
course, you can find as many items. Boxes will break a f quite a lot, and you can pick up items from them. Now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, the game will start to get a bit more graphically... Uh, I guess I could say interesting. Because right now it's just like a random mountain, a random place. It, it just looks like pretty much any other mountain. I mean, there's like nothing. Yeah, okay, we can move this around if you want. Let's push this little thing around. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. It's just there for the sake of being there. Oh, another battle. As I said, this is... Something the father has to keep lights doing, it seems. Now these are people who actually split up, split off from Square Enix uh, when they became <coughs> when they became Square Enix. I think not that, but I know they split off from Square Enix and they decided to make their own game as the creators of Final Fantasy. They couldn't use the name SquareSoft. Like taking candy from now, uh, they made this one, and I believe Enix made another game called. Hold on, I've got it here somewhere. Called The Last Remnant. Uh, neither were very well well received. I can actually, uh, I can actually 100% understand why Last Remnant wasn't very well received. I could, I can barely stand that game. Seriously, I barely I barely played it and it really annoyed me. The opening cutscene was like half an actually no. Three quarters of an hour long. Just to start playing the game, you know. Might as well have had some achievement with it. Watch the first cutscene. There was a sort of battle in between like this one had to break it up, but really it was too much waiting and the battle was pretty much nothing. It was pretty bad. If you like that game, fair enough. That's your taste. It's just not my taste. And I can understand why that wasn't a lot of people's taste. I can kind of understand why this game isn't a lot of people's tastes. However, I do really like this game. Uh, as I said before, it's my favorite game. And I don't think I'm really doing it justice like this. My voice doesn't do this justice, really. And here we go. You see anything? See. Down there. Look Maybe under there. Yeah. Right. Here, here, let me help. Hold this. I'm not gonna die. Hey. Hey, hey. What? That guy over there. He's still alive. Huh? What about the others? You alone? What's your name? Your unit? Second Lieutenant Kai Marganar, Commander, 17th Platoon, Armored Magic Troopers. It's a miracle you made it. Come with me. This way. Unbelievable. One survivor. Yeah. Amazing he made it out safe. Especially in that outfit. That is extremely true. With what we've got on, it is amazing that we got anywhere. So, I was wrong about the chests. There are chests, and we want to we want to view this too. Basically, you assemble rings and you can combine them to make better rings using components. Uh, you, you use the components and you can get special rings with different powers and each ring can be, as I said, a component so you can combine the rings like I said. Uh, new components. Yeah, the more you combine the more stuff you get. You can also search the formulas. So. 
basically it's given us a component which is the whetstone and we can use that to combine for new stuff. I still don't know what this nameplate does but I'm sure it's useful for something. So we got a ring assembly we didn't have that in there before. We can create a bruiser ring. Uh, this is damage up level 1. Slightly increases attack damage and that's for 4 wet zone. Now for a bruiser ring ultra we need to actually have a bruiser ring and some gardening ore. I think Kaim already has a better item. No, he definitely has a bruiser ring already. Okay, so we do not need to make that. We've already got one. So we'll save the whetstone. Because we can turn Kaim's ring into another one. Okay, so we were around here when they found us. Okay, so that box isn't breakable. So yeah, I was wrong about the chests. They are here. I just spaced out on that one, I guess. And let's talk to people. So basically they want us to get out of here. Which is kind of what we need to do, really. I don't think we can get into battle while we're in this area, so that's fine. Um... We did nothing. How can you say we did anything? And she's busy treating someone. What's he saying? That is a good question. Did we win or lose? Uh, we lost all our troops, but they lost all their troops. If it comes to it, we might have to do it again. So, I guess you could say this battle was a draw. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I'm not sure it was a meteor. It came down like lava, so... Unless it melted in the atmosphere. Let's board the armored car. We got nothing Let's else to do. Out. Let's move! Pull it out. Alright, so now we're out of that wasteland, and we're moving on. And we are running up a timer. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.